All right. We're going to get right into this. Let's go. Why don't you like Baron Corbin? Okay, so here's the deal. I don't like Baron Corbin because he's, well, I guess it's the Vince problem. He was just shoved down your throat so much. He, I'll give him credit. He has worked with every single gimmick they've he's given metamorphic. him. metamorphic. He's a chameleon. I love the word. Everything works. He is. He is. But I loved him as the lone wolf, which you said was so vanilla. Compared to everything else, the lone wolf was vanilla. I mean, we all... Disagree. We, he was marketed for you to like him because they kept talking about his upside, the right. future, right. the ability. But the moment that man started showing more charisma and more of his personality, I said, this lone wolf guy can go to... Get him out of there. Constable Corbin... Right. <laughs> Constable Corbin had charisma. He had ambition. Mm, okay, okay. So did King Corbin. Listen. So did Broke Corbin. And now Happy Corbin. <laughs> oh, God. So the Lone Wolf won the U.S. title, and it was Man. a damn good run. Well, no, Man. it wasn't a run. It was very short, but it was damn good showing, and he had a lot of promise. Um, I liked King Corbin. It was tolerable. It, you know, he's just not my favorite guy. <laughs> but I'll tell you. I want him in a main event so much more than this guy, you know, who was just on the screen, Austin Theory. He is like prime rib compared to Austin Theory. Right. So like that should tell you something. I even said, I said, listen, I'll take Corbin <laughs> win over Theory any day. And that's how serious I am. Oh. However, mm -hmm. Corbin's opponent is one of our favorites. Yes. Pat McAfee. We were saying how um, Logan Paul and Pat McAfee, mm. guys that were obvious f fans of wrestling, mm -hmm. how they get it. They absolutely get it. Yes. Pat McAfee, we've seen as a babyface against Adam Cole, mm -hmm. steal the show. Yep. Beautiful work. Knew how to work as a heel. Wait a minute. Wasn't he a heel against Adam yes, Cole? Yes, he was a heel. That's what I was saying. Knew how to work as a heel. Right. Gave you the expression, had all the heelish oh, yeah. mannerisms. And does the same thing as a baby face. Yeah. Logan Paul did that tonight too, and that's why I gave him a three. Right. Pat McAfee is I think he's in his he's not in his forties? I believe he's forty, forty one maybe. We'll have to consult the Google machine while you make your point. Look at that athleticism. Oh, it's crisp. Crisp. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't upset with his dance partner because I feel like Corbin gets a bad rap. I'm a fan. I actually, I really am a Corbin fan. Uh, you are, and they had they had a really decent match that ended well too with the uh, with with the with the referee distracted and um, Pat McAfee giving them giving them a kick to the groin, giving them a kick to the nads. Yeah, the thing about this was Pat McAfee's been so good in every showing so far in a match. This was probably his lackluster one, only because he's thirty five. By the way, oh wow lackluster and it wasn't McAfee's fault there was definitely condensation that was visible at first I didn't see why he was slipping and then they started showing the camera angles and it was a lot of mist and he kept doing a lot of things on the rope for the it, humidity for the humidity and it because was of obvious the yeah but here's the thing Pat McAfee is so good all around as far as telling a story getting you hype commentating just everything and like you said he's the consummate fan if you ever listen to his podcast i highly suggest you guys do he's just such a mega fan of wwe and wrestling in general but he gets it he's not a um he's not one of those like overzealous fans that get into the business and then just marks for himself like you you know he did the job to vince mcmahon in an <laughs> unbelievable like ridiculousness at WrestleMania, and he did it clean, no problem, because, well, that's the boss, but he would do it for probably <laughs> anyone. McAfee, though, has dethroned Corey Graves as my favorite commentator, and I didn't think I that was possible. I can, I can agree with that. He's so good. He comes out with things that, uh, things I love about commentating is, I love hearing stuff that I've never heard before, told in a different light. That's why Paul Heyman was always one of my favorite commentators, because the way he announced and the way he told the story like stupid stuff like he was one count away from winning the ch like obviously it's a two mm -hmm. count but the way he presented it and 
showcased it, it was different. McAfee does the same thing. He dramatizes he, everything. He dramatizes everything, and he came up with the alpha male of our species with Brock Lesnar, which I think is such the greatest tagline for him. Mm. He's just great. This match was good. Corbin was good. Corbin's really good in the ring. I will give him that. What did is, you rate it? I gave it a two. It's your first time you ever rated a Corbin match yes, over it is. a one. Yeah. You're coming along. Progress. You're coming along. Progress. <laughs>